Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is the final part of my Taiwan vlog. So today we are going to Taipei and this vlog might be a bit longer than my uh, part 1 and part 2 because we are staying the longest in Taipei for 2 nights and 3 days. So right now we are on our way to Taipei from Taichung. Yay, let's go! After traveling for some time, we finally reached the first location in Taipei which is the Vigo Kobo Pineapple Cake Factory. This factory produces many different types of snacks other than the famous pineapple tarts they are known for. Uh, before we started doing any activities, we sat down for a presentation made by them. So my friend here received this gift from the factory for answering one of the questions and this is just me recording her with it. And then she decided to open it up to see what it was. So basically inside the box there were three of their most popular snack items. It was really nice of them to actually give some of the students a chance to answer questions and also uh, get some of their snacks for free. So moving on after the presentation, we were finally given a chance to actually make our very own pineapple tarts and this is the time lapse of our pineapple making process. Once we were done making the pineapple tarts, the people in charge actually helped us to uh, bake it in the oven and while they were baking it, we went downstairs to actually try some of the snacks and uh, after trying, we got a chance to actually purchase some of them and they're all halal certified. After purchasing the snacks, we went to another part of the factory and they were touring us around this area where there was all visualizers around. I'm not really sure what this place is called but it was just showing like videos of Taiwan's culture. There was this section where the visualizers showed like lanterns flying up and it was so pretty honestly. After exploring the pineapple factory, we were heading towards our next location and on the way there, the sky was pretty gloomy. Halfway through the ride, we stopped at a traffic light and it happened so that my other friend's bus stopped right next to us so I just casually started recording them. And finally, we are at our second location in Taipei and this is the Taipei 101, the famous building in Taiwan and also the tallest building in Taiwan. It's really unreal that we are here right now. After that, our teachers gave us some time to walk around the Taipei 101 shopping mall. After we were done strolling around the mall, it started raining and we had to share one umbrella because I didn't bring my umbrella. This is just me fooling around in the bus because I have nothing better to do. Even after reaching the next location, it was still raining so I had to share the umbrella with my other friend and this is just us walking to the night market. The whole walk to the night market was very nice because like on the way we saw a lot of shops and also the rain was really nice and comforting. And then we finally reached our third location in Taipei which is the Shilin Night Market. Normally this night market is more crowded but I'm assuming due to the rain, uh, there is lesser people compared to normal. So here are some of the food stores in the night market and most of these food stores are right beside each other so you can easily find them around the night market. So one thing is for sure that the food in the night market is not halal and if you are a Muslim tourist visiting Taiwan then I suggest that you uh, buy your food from halal certified uh, restaurants rather than from the night market itself. The night market also has some game stores where you can win prizes so here are just some of my friends playing the games. After having a really good time at the night market, we are now here at our third and last accommodation which is the Jasper Young Hotel in Taipei. The entrance and lobby of this hotel was really pretty and compared to the other two hotels, I feel that this was my favourite. 
Then we took our keycards from our lecturers and went upstairs uh, to the 7th floor to go to our room. And obviously I was very excited. And of course I didn't forget the room tour. As you enter, this is like a wardrobe with like hangers. And as you walk in, like this is the washroom and you can see the bed from here. This is the toilet. And there's a mirror right here. And then there's like a TV table and our beds right beside each other. And let's go see the view now. Oh my god, the view is so pretty! <laughs> this is the prettiest view I've ever seen. I don't know if you all can see. Yeah guys, that's it. After putting our luggages in the hotel rooms, we came back down again with my Muslim friends to actually go buy halal food for us as the teacher was not arranging dinner for us anymore. We managed to find a halal Indian restaurant very near to our hotel. After buying our food, we came back to our hotel rooms and this is just the view from the hotel room and I decided to record because the view was really pretty. So here are some pictures of the food and snacks that we brought from the mall. And this was our attempt to watch a drama at night but we fell asleep because we were too tired. Okay, good morning guys. It is currently day 4 in Taiwan and this is the view from our hotel room. Look at how pretty the view is. I don't think I shared this in the other videos but uh, normally our wake up call time is around 7 a.m. to 7:30 ish, and uh, currently uh, I have to go downstairs at 8:15 a.m. So this is just me getting ready to go have my morning breakfast. After that, we came down to the hotel's uh, breakfast area and got ourselves some food to eat. I'm just showing everyone's food and what they got because all of us got different things. Some of my friends had to go visit the doctor, so we had a change of bus. We are now having a presentation made by the Liofu Village theme park owner. The presentation was about Liofu's history, the different types of rides they offer, and so on so on. My friend Chloe was the translator for this presentation because the owner couldn't speak English well, so she did her best, so good job Chloe. This part was really funny as the person who was speaking was continuously speaking for so long that my friend got a little bit confused on how to interpret it to the entire 40 of us. Even though she faced some issues, uh, she managed to translate everything to us well and we understood everything. And once we were done with the presentation, we were walking towards uh, Liu Fu village and there it is. So now we are in the theme park and walking towards uh, the different uh, themed areas. There are four team areas in this uh, theme park and they are the South Pacific, uh, the Arabian Palace, the Wild West and the African Tribe. There is also a Liofu Village Water Park. You can literally see the Arabian Palace from here and since we are heading that way, that's going to be our first stop. Right at the entrance, we came across a ferris wheel and on both sides there were like shops and restaurants. 
This area also had a really fun 5D movie theatre, but unfortunately it was closed due to maintenance so we couldn't watch it. Then we saw this ride that literally goes 360 and at first I was thinking of going up but the moment it started moving I was like no thanks because I don't want to risk my life. So after that, we went to another part of the theme park called the South Pacific where it was mostly the water-related activities and rides. Before we went to the water ride, we decided to go on this ride called the Great Pirate and here's how it went. Honestly, even though this ride was pretty scary, I really enjoyed it, so it's a 10 out of 10 for me. And now moving on to the more splashy boat rides. Thankfully, it wasn't crowded, so we managed to go to the front easily. So we are finally here, but then we realized that these boats can only hold up to 2 people per boat, so me and my friends had to split up and get into pairs. This was my first time going on a scary boat ride with just 2 people in it because normally for this kind of boat rides, there will be more than 2 people in the boat. So it's like a totally new experience for me. Yeah, okay. Another scary thing about this ride was that there was like no safety belt. So it's like you have to hold on to the metal rails on your own. So this ride is basically just us going up two different slopes and then sliding down with the same boat. I couldn't record us going down because obviously it was really dangerous. But the ride was fun lah. We also went up on this ride called the Giant Tsunami but I couldn't record it because no phones were allowed. I was so shocked when I saw this ride because this looked even more scary than the first ride I saw at the Arabian Palace. And obviously I didn't go up on it because who would go up on such a scary ride? Out of nowhere the roller coaster just went past me and it's a very cute roller coaster. As you all can see it's a choo-choo train. And now we are at the roller coaster entrance which is basically called the Railway Express Agency. This ride isn't as scary as the ones in Singapore and in other countries, so if you're someone who's scared of roller coaster, just try it because it's really fun. The roller coaster ride was pretty quick, it was about a 1 minute roller coaster ride. There was this water ride called the Grand Canyon Rapid Rafting. However, we couldn't go on the ride because it required you to wear raincoats. Then we came across this photo booth uh, in the theme park itself and of course we wanted to take some pictures to get some memories before we go back to Singapore. And this is how our pictures turn out. After the photo session, we decided to go to another part of the theme park called the African Tribe where you can actually see a lot of animals. And over here you will find a really popular train ride called the Steam Train which brings you around for 30 minutes animal sightseeing ride. This makes Liofu Village a really unique theme park because you don't really get to see animals at a theme park. And now I'll be showing you all the animals I saw while I was on the ride. So the first one was this peacock who was just minding its own business. Then we met this really friendly hippopotamus who got out of the water just to greet us and then now he's going back in because we are going off as well. As you can see, the next animal that we saw was the rhinoceros.
So here is just a more clear view of the rhinoceros and these two fellas are just walking together and behind them is a really cute little hut but I'm not sure what's that for and there's like more rhinoceros at the back there was like really a lot of rhinoceros there so even after the first few that we saw there was like more rhinoceros coming our way as you all can see Then we saw this animal that looks like a half dog and a half horse but I don't know the name so I'm sorry for that. And then we also saw some deers but there was like two or three of them there only. And now we are on the buffalo field. You can see a lot of buffaloes here. There are more buffaloes here and I think they are just having their afternoon lunch. Then we also spotted two horses that were right beside each other. The zebras were a bit too far but I still managed to take some videos and photos of them. So this was the same animal that I showed just now but I'm not sure about the name. So if you all know the name, let me know in the comments. So this is basically a more close up of the animals. On the other side, there was this black swan that was chilling by the water. All of a sudden, the train instructor told us to look to our left because there was actually a family of this animal coming out of their homes with their little children. So I think in this case, the dad and the mom was going out first and then the little kids were following their mom and dad. And after looking at us for a really good time, he finally moved off. And while we were on the train, we looked up and we saw this flock of birds just flying over our heads and I just decided to record it. And then we also saw some goats and some bulls. and one baby giraffe that was standing under a tree. We couldn't spot his mother anywhere, so I think it was just him and himself. He was like trying to eat something from the tree, I don't know what. Okay, bye bye baby giraffe. We also saw some white goats. And they were the last animals we saw before going back to our station. After the animal sightseeing on the train ride, uh, we are now going to a bus tour that actually brings us around to see tigers and lions. This is the first time I'm actually going to see tigers and lions from the bus, so I'm very excited. On the way to the bus tour, we also like, saw this uh, monkey cycling right on top of us and we were like going to try that afterwards. Okay, so the bus has finally arrived and this is how the bus looks. The bus is quite nice actually, they even painted it in a tiger theme. Oh my god guys, so we have finally uh, went in and this was the first tiger we saw, this is the great white tiger and he was just lying on this uh, old truck, he was sleeping 
since he was sleeping, he didn't really do much and then we just left to see the other tigers and lions in front. Bye bye white tiger. Then we saw another white tiger but this white tiger was actually in a cage and it was also sleeping so we just went past it. Then we went to another part of the jungle where the Bengal tigers were in. And soon enough, we spotted a Bengal tiger that was inside this cage and he was sleeping in the water. These two tigers was by far the most nearest ones to me on my side of the bus uh, and they were just sleeping also. We saw another one which was pretty far from us under that shelter. Finally, we have come to the area where lions are and surprisingly the lions were all awake. They were not sleeping like the tigers and they were just like looking at us because we were there. This lion was even better, he literally walked all the way to the front just to look at us. And here are more of them, these two are just sitting under the shelter and chilling. So finally we were done with the bus tour and now we are actually heading towards the monkey cycling station to actually try the ride because it looks really fun and we had to climb up this pile of stairs to go up and we are all set to go As you can see this ride is not automated, it's based on how fast you cycle so you're gonna go faster if you cycle faster At this part of the ride, the slope was going upwards, so we didn't have to cycle on our own. It was automated and they just brought us up. As we were going, we also saw some monkeys, but since it was raining, it was very hard to see many of them. Now we know why this ride was called the monkey trail. And all of a sudden, it started raining heavier and we were kind of getting wet and rushing to go back to the station. Like cycling on this monkey thing, and yeah, it's so cool. So it's like, gonna rain heavily. So we're like, we're like going like really, really fast right now. And I'm super tired. This is probably our last ride before we go for lunch. So yay! We, I think we completed almost a lot of the rides. Other than monkeys, there was also some other animals uh, around us when we were on this ride. It was quite difficult to film while I was on this ride because it was raining and also uh, most of the animals were hiding during the rain. We could also see the train ride that we took just now for the animal sightseeing. Some people were still going around in the rain to watch it. After completing the monkey trail, uh, while we were going down, we had to walk through this souvenir shop that was selling a lot of like animal-like uh, souvenirs. Most of it was just like animal stuffed toys. All of a sudden, it started raining heavily and then we were just waiting under this shelter for a while. Luckily, two of my friends had umbrellas, so we just shed the umbrella and walked towards uh, a restaurant that our teachers told us to make first. Why does it look like smoke? I don't think it's smoke though, I think that's water. So we are at the restaurant now and we just got our food and we had our lunch. And after our lunch was done, we were going back to the bus and the rain still didn't stop. After having a really great time at the Liu Theme Park, we are now going to the Q Mall for shopping. 
Initially, we were supposed to go to Simending, but then due to the rain, they changed the location to the Q Mall instead. We were in this mall for about an hour or two because our teacher allowed us to go back on our own after shopping was done. I got my mom a birthday present because it was her birthday on the day we were going back to Singapore. On our way back to the hotel, we just took an Uber because uh, the transport here was very confusing to understand. Also, we couldn't get any food from the shopping mall because there was no halal restaurants there. So we decided that we are going to go to the nearby Family Mart or 7-Eleven near to our hotel. I got some stuff from 7-Eleven and that's our hotel. Good morning guys, so today is day 5 and also the last day in Taiwan. We all had our breakfast and now we are going to the first location of the day which is the Shongsan Cultural and Creative Park. On our way there, we saw the Taipei 101 again. I will definitely miss this building. Okay, so we are finally here at the Shongsan Cultural and Creative Park. We are currently walking to an area where the tour guides are and they will actually walk us around the area giving us a tour of the entire park. So this man here was our tour guide and he was the one walking us around the area to let us know more about these things. And then we came across this picture frame thing where you can pretend to be part of the photo and I was pretending to be Halima Yako. As we were walking, we came across this man who was playing the harmonica and it was really nice so we stopped to listen for a while. The man was really nice and he wanted to play the music one more time for us. Then we moved on to our next location which was the Chufen Old Street. Personally, I was very excited to come to this area because uh, it was high up in the mountains and I love mountain views from the top. The view was super stunning so everyone was taking their pictures with it including me I also took some pictures with my friends Then we also took a good photo but it's not that clear We are finally here at the Triffin Old Street and this is the entrance so you can't see much yet even though the weather was really hot, I really enjoyed coming here because the vibes here was very different from the other places we went. and it was really nice decorated with lanterns and everything. As we were there, we also went to a lot of shops and then we got ourselves uh, drinks from this drink store and they were making the drinks right in front of us so it was quite entertaining and satisfying to see them make it. After getting our drinks, we saw this cave and we wanted to check it out. Well, I'm gonna get claustrophobic and guys, guys, get out! It's it's a tunnel. Just go out. It's a tunnel. Jump scare. After getting out the cave, we just continued our journey to explore the Chufen Old Street. As we went in deeper into the streets, there were more and more shops and decorations. Uh, all of us even took photos and videos together.
After walking around for a good one hour or so, we are now going back to our buses to actually get our lunch from our teachers because uh, there is no halal food in the street. So all the Muslim students will get bento boxes from the teachers. And here's the drink that I ordered from the shop just now. Guys, just look at the number of buses parked here. I guess they're all tour buses. Before going up the bus, I just stood here and recorded this scenery one last time because it was like really pretty and I don't know when I'll see this the next time. So here's my lunch and I think the food looks really good. I can't wait to eat it because I'm really hungry right now. Yep, so that was pretty much it and now we are just gonna have our lunch and then after that we are gonna head on to our next location. So now we are off to the next place which is the Shifan Old Street where we are actually going to go on the rail tracks and fly our lanterns. As we were nearing, we could already see some lanterns being flown into the sky. So we just reached the place and I was just recording this uh, river or lake. I'm not sure what this is but it was like a really pretty scenery so I just decided to record it. Now we are walking towards the Schiffen Old Street. The sun was shining so brightly, man. Look at the lanterns up there. Oh my god, guys, we're finally here and the rail station is somewhere there and we're about to enter this shop where they're gonna like allow us to design and write our wishes on the lanterns and then after that, we're gonna fly them to the sky. So this is just me writing my wish. Of course, I have to start with Bismillah. As I was writing, one of my friends told me that some of the black ink stain got onto my bag. So now I gotta be extra careful. Okay, enjoy my wish writing session. And then it was my friend's turn to write her wishes on the same side of the lantern. And here are more wishes made by some of my other friends. And finally after we were done like writing our wishes onto the lantern, it was now time to fly them to the sky just like the rest of them. There were a lot of people waiting to actually fly their lantern so we all had to wait and queue up till it was our turn. So I'm just taking the opportunity to record other people flying their lanterns first. So here are some of my friends that are preparing to fly their lantern up to the sky now. Before flying our lanterns to the sky, the people there are very nice as they help us to take pictures so that we can keep the memories. And after a while, it was our turn. And here are just more of my friends preparing to fly their lanterns up too. At the back, you can also see some of them taking their pictures. And there the lantern goes. Bye bye! Okay, now just enjoy the process of how the lantern is being flown to the sky.
While some of my friends were still trying to fly up the lantern, suddenly there was a train approaching on the tracks. So we all had to move to the side of the platform and wait till the train went before we continued flying our lanterns again. And once the train was gone, everyone uh, continued flying their lanterns. And after having a really great time at the Shifton Old Street, it was time for us to leave uh, because we have to get to our next location before it gets dark. Since the journey was pretty long, we decided to have a karaoke session. As we were on the bus, the sun was shining super brightly and we could literally see the whole orange ball there, basically the sun. Oh my god guys, as we were going, there were so many stunning views that I saw and I just couldn't stop recording the whole way. And since we were on the highway, everything just looked even better. You can finally see the sunset. The whole vibe was really good because we were like listening to music and watching these beautiful sceneries. So finally after a really long journey, we are here at Gloria Outlets. This is our last location before we head to the airport. Gloria Outlets is very famous for its luxury brands. You can find almost any type of luxury brands here like Gucci, Prada, Coach and even Balenciaga. Me and my friends just explored around this place because it was really big. Because of its popularity, there was also a train station that was connected to Gloria Outlet so you can come here easily through public transport. To be honest, I was already really tired at this point of time so I couldn't really record any other parts of this place. So I'm sorry about that. After that, we just sat at this bench and had some light snacks and drinks before we left. And finally, we have come to the end of the trip. We are now going back to Singapore. I will definitely miss all the memories we made here in Taiwan and also miss all the tour guys that has helped us a lot during our stay here. In summary, I would say that this trip was a successful trip and we had a lot of fun and it's now time to head back home. And with that, I have come to the end of my vlog. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and do check out the other parts if you haven't and remember to subscribe. See you guys in my next video. Bye!